Hi, this is Moshe Zussman for Shutter Magazine, and today I'm going to walk you through my studio, show you how I work, where everything is placed, what is it in my studio, where other people's work here, and everything that I do from behind the scene. Uh, first of all, this is my tethering station. This is where every photo I take with this camera goes into this computer. Today we have photographed all the contestants from Miss DC, um, so we have all their photos ready here very quick process we show everything to them before they leave uh, behind me is where i actually shoot we don't have a psych wall but we do have a bunch of seamless backdrops in case we need to shoot full length i wasn't even using any of those today just the white wall behind me I have a clamshell set up behind me with a rig that I built with uh, two Profoto D2s illuminating my subject, my, uh, my models today, uh, and the third light lightening up the background. This is my clamshell rig. I built it myself. One of the favorite things I do is build rigs for lighting. Um, it's made of an, uh, a Cooper or an Avenger, one of those two uh, light stands. It's a uh, Pretty sturdy light stand. I got sandbags on the bottom that keep it even sturdier and more steady. Make sure it doesn't tip over. It's got a D2, Profoto D2 1000 Air that is attached to the top with a special uh, extension arm that makes it stand out of, away from it. So it's kind of like a boom without a traditional boom. Same goes for the bottom part of it. It's a little uh, side arm that holds it with a super clamp, one of my favorite tools. Uh, super clamp that holds it away from the main pole, the main stem, and together creating a perfect clamshell lighting. The top one has a beauty dish with a grid, the bottom one has a Profoto uh, softbox RFI one by, by, one by three. So now I'll show you the bottom level of my studio. We saw the top where we shoot, where the, everybody comes in. Follow me, I'll show you the downstairs. I'm gonna fix this. So this is our makeup station where my makeup artists work for whoever shows up, if they choose to have makeup or not, we have this available. Little sitting area, staging area. Everybody loves coming here. They can see a lot of samples of my work, not just on the TVs upstairs, but also printed paper here. This is me and my studio manager's workstation where we do emails and Facebook posts. Over here we have a full kitchen. In the back we have a full bath and a living room with a multimedia station. We have presentations for clients. Back from the days I used to do a lot of weddings, this is where I would do all my consultations, book the weddings, deliver albums and wedding files. And um, my Lego on the table, the most important part. So this is my studio and if you're ever considering getting your own space, you may not have 1600 square feet with two levels and all the bells and whistles, but you want to start with a space that's big enough to photograph people with the 7200 lens to be able to make sure that you can capture full length if that's what you're going to do. Make sure that there's a bathroom, place for makeup, that's all you really need for the beginning. Anything else beyond that is just an extra. Thanks for checking out my space. I hope you read the article in Shutter Magazine, and I'll see you next time.